So I'm doing a test here on my um, starter enrichment valve uh, for my 2011 Honda Ruckus. So um, you can see, here's the Ruckus over here, but um, in any case, I've got the, <coughs> I pulled the starter enrichment valve out of the carburetor. And I'm doing some um, experiment here because I can't start the, uh, the unit the scooter when it's cold. Um, I can actually put my thumb over the spot where the enrichment valve goes in and the bike will start up as expected, um, which makes me think that it's this enrichment valve, but um, now I'm starting to have some second thoughts and I'll explain why I'm having the second thoughts. So basically um, what I did is I've got this thing jury rigged. So I am giving it 12 volts I've got uh, these protective covers on here and I just kind of did some jury rig crimping. Um, and then I've got them attached to these leads and then the leads go to this 12 volt battery. And um, so what I did with the caliper is I, um, I measured it for starters. So you can see the end of the caliper is, uh, is right here. And this distance, this extra distance, which looks like about a quarter of an inch or so is what is how much it's opened up ever since I've had it on the battery. And, um, and so that's showing me that the, um, the enrichment valve is actually doing its job if it's getting power. So I think one of the next questions I have is whether it's actually getting power or not. So I'm gonna disconnect this thing from the battery. And um, I am curious how quickly it reduces itself back down. It's pretty cold. I'm in the garage. It's December 26th and um, it's probably about 35 degrees out here right now. But in any case, it's it's definitely opening up um, when it's getting the voltage. So that's telling me that it's not the start of enrichment valve that's causing me trouble, but it could be um, that I've got a clog in that area or something. Um, so there are service manuals online, and uh, I found one for 2003, mine's a 2011, but the things are pretty darn similar all through the years. And there's a test that you can do to blow through the starter jet with a rubber tube or a plastic tube. You put the tube in there and you blow it. And, um, and then um, you can do another test where you actually apply voltage to this thing and see whether it seals it up. And I'm not going to that quite extreme just yet, but um, I'm mostly starting to see whether it's this unit, whether I want to spend 50 bucks on the unit or not. And I don't at the moment because that thing is definitely opening up. So my next step, I guess, is I'm gonna be checking to see if I'm getting the voltage that will be um, you know, normally leading to this unit and um, when I'm pressing the starter. And uh, so I'm gonna do that test next. So hopefully you can get some value out of this. It sounds like, you know, there's a couple of people have done some other recordings on YouTube related to these valves. And one guy did a test. He said it opened up with the voltage. Another guy was having some, um, you know, doubts whether that was actually the case or not. But I'm, I'm definitely here to tell you that it does open up when you apply 12 volts to it. So, so I just want to do one quick capture also here. This is showing the... Um, needle now that it's been retracted so i took the voltage you know off the battery and let it cool down here for a few minutes and you can see it's basically exactly in line with the caliper um so it, like i said it grew about a quarter of an inch and um i know this is not my problem so i think i've got a different problem probably a, a clogged port in the carburetor um anyway i have some more tests i'm going to do hello again so i'm just doing a follow-up I've discovered what my problem is, and I have not seen anybody uh, reporting this on the internet or YouTube or anything, so I thought I'd explain it. So this is a picture online of the starter enrichment valve. And uh, this cap is just a protective cover. It slides off, goes upwards like so. This unit here, you'll notice that when I had done the, the video, you could see this little needle thing was extending out based on temperature, pushing it out. The wax was pushing it out when it was receiving voltage. The problem is that this needle 
was sticking too far out by default in its starting position. So its starting position was essentially a lean position in my carburetor. So um, that's why when I would cover it with my thumb, you know, when I had this unit pulled out and I'd put my thumb on, it would actually start up because the needle wasn't inside the, um, the area applying, you know, blocking pressure to the cavity that allows the, the gasoline to flow. And so when I put the unit in, it would block up that hole because this needle was prematurely extended. So what I'm going to tell you is that this starter enrichment valve, when you take this cap off, this thing actually threads together. It's a, it's a multiple piece uh, unit, which I probably should have just, you know, done a recording on it, but I already put the bike back together. Um, in any case, you can unthread this. And as you unthread it, there'll be a big spring. Um, you don't have to really worry about it. It's not, it doesn't come apart violently, but it comes apart this pressure. But the important thing is that it's threaded. And what I noticed on mine, I was like, geez, it doesn't look like it's threaded all the way in. When I threaded it all the way in, all of a sudden the needle became even more pronounced. So there's like probably almost three eighths of an inch of thread on this. And so I backed my thread off um, and I, you know, have probably, I don't know how much thread I have exposed, but the point is I backed it off a little bit. And I think that this needle has very, you know, it's got a very low margin of um, contact where it needs to, you know, apply uh, extension to fill the port. And what I ended up doing, I just backed it off a few threads and um, I reapplied it into the unit and I started it right up. And so um, I let the unit run for a little while. And as it ran for a while, you know, the heater core in this thing heated up and then the needle pressed down and it applied the enrichment to it and it thinned out. And so um, I'm here to tell you that that is the solution to this problem. So there you go.